Welcome to the daily main Sanskrit writing program. The question given yesterday was from General Studies Paper 3. The topic is in Indian economy, specifically mobilization of resources. So the question says that has India is India successful in mobilizing the domestic resources, particularly after the 1991 economic reforms. So the statement actually says that India is successful in mobilizing resources after the 1991 reforms. Now you have to critically evaluate the statement. So for example, around 6 marks will be given for the statements, for the supporting you know, uh, arguments that you make for the statement and 6 marks will be given for the arguments that you make again as a statement. Because it is critically evaluated, you should make the arguments supporting the statement as well as some argument should be shall be how it is not so successful still still a lot has to be done six marks and some three marks will be given for a good introduction good conclusion and any creative things or you know inclusion of current affairs etc now before uh, explaining the answer let me tell you that after the explanation of the answer i have evaluated the answer of a candidate who submitted her answer in our telegram group in our telegram group the group is daily mains answer writing program of Sarachan Rai's Academy in this group everybody can submit their answers for the questions that we are giving also the telegram channel UPSC mains answer writing Sarachan Rai's Academy this is a channel in this channel you get the question every day and the next day you get the video explanation of the answer However, here you cannot upload your answers. So if you want to upload your answers, you join this group. If you do not want to upload your answers, if you just want to, you know, go through the question and our answer, you join the channel. Okay. Also, if you do not know how to answer the question exactly, if you do not know the exact points for the question, still if you want to write something so that you get two or three marks in the question, towards the end of this uh, video, I told you, uh, uh, you know, a tip or two. Of how to score marks without knowing the actual answer also to increase the visibility of the answer what kind of diagrams can you draw that also I have explained at the end of the answer now let me tell you some common mistakes that we have observed from the students who uploaded their answers in our telegram group daily mains answer writing program Sarachan Rice Academy see the most common mistakes are that they forgot this word domestic so leaving the domestic they just wrote about uh, mobilizing the resources. For example, the resources that are mobilized from other countries into India cannot be written in this answer because it's only about the domestic resources. Also, many students started evaluating the LPG reforms itself. The question is not to critically evaluate the LPG reforms. The question is whether LPG reforms are successful in mobilizing the resources or not. That point you have to evaluate. But many students evaluated the LPG reforms. It is also a big mistake. Also, many people wrote only one-sided answer. One-sided means they said that yes, it is successful in mobilizing resources. Yes, it is successful. That is only one-sided. In that in that uh, way, you get only six marks for this question. Means out of six, you get some four marks only. Remember, six marks you get zero marks. Zero out of six. So, friends, it's actually like this: two out of six, zero out of six. Okay, then. Also, many people wrote unidimensional answer. That means the resources here can mean financial resources, natural resources, human resources. But they wrote only natural resources or only financial resources. That means they wrote only about one aspect. Such students also will get less marks. So don't make these mistakes. Now coming to the question. According to me, a good introduction would be to explain the meaning of the words given the statement. So in the me beginning itself, you can make very clear the resources means financial, you know, natural resources, human resources, and so on. Financial resources, human resources, natural, and so on. Also, you can explain the meaning of mobilized resources. You can say most of the resources are locked up. For example, many financial resources are locked up in the, in the domestic people. They have not come into the economy. Also, much of the mineral resources are locked up under the earth. They are unexplored. So, Tapping all of them, exploring them and using them for the national development, organizing them is what we call it as mobilization. 
also it would be good if you explain the importance of this mobilization we have to say that mobilization resources is to achieve a common goal one of the goals can be for the growth of gdp for national development particularly domestic resources shall be mobilized so that we will not be dependent on the other countries we would be economically independent our imports will fall down and we no longer depend on the foreign aid in this way you can write introduction for this question now coming to the actual question asked they said that after 1991 economic reforms the mobilization of domestic resources actually increased so you compare between before reforms after reforms how it has increased so you can say that because of privatization in several sectors the private investment has come in this is nothing but mobilization of financial resources similarly previously most of the mining sector was under the control of government now because it is privatized new technology has come private investors are able to explore and exploit exploit the mineral resources which were erstwhile untapped locked under the earth similarly banks were also privatized now these banks became more efficient more competitive they are able to give better interest rate for the people who you know um, open savings account because of that savings have increased the financial resources are mobilized the money from the domestic domestic people have come into the banks which were given as loans which became capital investment for many manufacturing uh, companies in that way mobilization of financial resources actually happened also liberalization is a part of this new economic policy lpg reforms liberalization liberalization in one way is removal or reduction of the tariff barriers non tariff barriers between the states also between india and other countries due to which you know from other countries capital has flown technology has come in people are able to come in even globalization also because globalization you know ideas are able to come into india because of that indian manufacturers are able to get cheap raw material from outside cheap imports which helped them in manufacturing finished goods which are highly competitive and able to send it to the market for with for lower cost this is the mobilization of the finished goods though here foreign countries import is involved the mobilization of the final products is actually has become very competitive you can mention that also as license raj permission raj is abolished the, you know the private companies are free to start, start any new product new company expand any company because of which they are able to give more employment they are able to give more employment which helped in you know human, human resources mobilization so here also public private partnership in infrastructure is able to you know construct more roads or rail i mean more roads or you know airways or uh, you know other uh, inland navigation or infrastructure like uh, you know power stations or ports because of which what happened is resources are able to be mobilized very easily for example because of transportation better transportation mobilization of uh, goods have increased in that way friends if you observe all of my points are related to the mobilization i did not write general points about lpg i wrote about only those points of lpg which are related to the mobilization in that way i should each of your points will be relevant to the question in upsc marks will be given to the candidate whose answer is relevant close to the given question now as a question is critically evaluate critically so you have to say that lpg reforms helped in mobilization however still there are a lot of constraints still we cannot say it is so successful we cannot say that why for example logistic problems are there that means maintaining a database of the goods mobilizing them managing them organizing assembling them is still a problem so india have to invest more in the logistics also pro policy problems most of the policies are not consistent policies are frequently changed implementation policy has got a problem because of that you know uh, mobilization has taken a toll similar transportation is a problem for example take coal or iron ore though they are produced their transportation become a major problem also transportation is a problem for movement of human resources which actually increases the you know cost of transportation because of no, no access to many nooks and corners of the country similarly infrastructural problems are there in india 
because of lack of much of power stations, power production, lack of large number of ports or you know uh, ports having good turnaround turn time because of lack of all these things the overall cost of transportation or cost of uh, movement of the goods mobilization has increased which has taken a, a toll on the GDP growth also human resources you can say that uh, women participation in the workforce is less the skill, skilled workforce are also less in India also the health See, the, generally, a, a country who in which uh, most of the population are uh, health-wise, if they are unable to afford for good health, obviously, their contribution for nation development would be reduced. In that way, human resources, we are unable to mobilize them for national development because lack, lack of good health facilities, lack of uh, literacy, lack of skill. You know, even the backward sections or schedule cash, schedule drives, other backward classes, because most of them are not empowered, we are unable to mobilize them for the national development. Lack of technology, even colonial hangover like the you know inefficiency, corruption, red tapeism, because of that also mobilization uh, problems are there. Friends, see, if you observe carefully, I wrote all these points in a negative uh, context. But some students who want to be optimistic, the same points you can write differently. What you can say is change the heading. You simply say that, say that, India should do the following to make mobilization of resources more successful. So same thing, for example, as I told you here, we have to say that uh, India should train uh, the because we have got uh, a demographic advantage, better demographic dividend. We have to uh, skill, uh, upskill the youth, skill and upskill the youth. Also, women, women empowerment has to happen and healthcare infrastructure has to be increased. Also, we have to invest more in the transportation for infrastructure. For example, all the government has created in, you know, uh, infrastructural investment fund. We are able to uh, attract the funds from other countries also. So we have to focus on that. So the same points only, but tell in a positive way. Generally, answers which are optimistic, which are positive, generally attracts more mocks. Friends, I would suggest that economics, economy answers as much as possible present one case study. Just some three or four lines, you know, to write these many lines in the exam. Uh, just three or four lines, any one case study, particularly recent case study. For example, this coal, you may be knowing that recently the coal mining has been privatized. So it is there in the current affairs. That's why I have chosen this case study. For example, friend, mobilization of coal was a major problem in India because in India, many companies are dependent on the coal. The steel company, fertilizer, cement company, power company, I mean, the power generators are dependent on the coal. But coal is produced by a single company called Coal India Limited till now, till recent. So that company is unable to produce as much coal as required for the for the you know Indian manufacturers because of which the imports have increased. Import of coal has increased. That's why understanding this problem because of imp imports the current effort, current account deficit also increased the main reason why the production of coal has been a problem or mobilization is a problem is because of uh, problem in acquiring the land forest clearances environmental clearances railway connectivity is poor hence the uh, government recently privatized the coal uh, mining which is a right step forward in better mobilization of coal now friends, as I told you, if you do not have, know, have the right points, for example, some students may not be knowing exactly how LPG reforms affected the mobilization of domestic resources. If you do not know the answer, let us say you know only two points, you write only two points, write two points. After that, you try to fill the remaining one page with a matter something like what is mobilization resources, how it is useful for the national development, what are the domestic resources, what suggestions would you give for better mobilized resources, you know, case study of coal, you write little more, few more lines about coal or iron ore. So in this way, of course, you may not get very good mocks, but at least you can get three to four mocks instead of getting, you know, uh, zero mocks. That is one idea. Also, I would suggest that if possible, try to draw a flow chart. It breaks the monotony of the evaluator because of which you can get a half mark or so more. For example, I would say, that because of LPG reforms, privatization increased. Because of privatization, the investment has increased. That is nothing but mobilization of financial resources, which helps in GDP growth. I would also say 
LPG reforms because of globalization, you know, there is a flow of capital, ideas, technology, which has increased the employment. Friends, because of employment, what happens? There is a mobilization of human resources here, human resources, which will also help in the GDP growth. Also, liberalization. Liberalization, you know, decreased the tariff or, or non tariff barriers because of which what happened is the interstate or country to India to other countries mobilization of goods has increased. Mobilization of goods has increased because of which the GDP growth is there. So, here what I have done, I have addressed how LPG helped in mobilization of financial resources, human resources, and goods, and even natural resources. I would say privatization of mining natural resources mining has increased which helps in the GDP. So I am able to connect the LPG reforms with a goal called GDP growth of India. Like that a good diagram circular diagram can fetch more marks to you. Now let us evaluate you know uh, the answer of one of the candidates who has submitted her answer uh, in the telegram group called daily mains answer writing practice at Chandra's academy. The student has written a good introduction. introduction because she explained very clearly how from independence till 1991 don't write like this be careful 1991 uh, the mobilization was not so good after the reforms how it has been better also a diagram showing how new economic policy helped in globalization privatization, liberalization and how it helped in removing the barriers which helped in removing restrictions because of which the mobilization actually increased and also a separate side heading saying that liberalization helps in the Cross mobilization, digital mobilization. Friends, this kind of headings actually will give you more marks. Also, this kind of side headings will generally attract more marks because it shows that the student who wrote the answer has got clarity, able to clearly indicate different points. However, I feel that, see, increasing the production, investment is mobilization of financial resources, employment, human resources, okay. But these two points are really not relevant for this answer. For example, help in facing BOP crisis is nothing to do with the mobilization. Increase in the national income has nothing to do. However, I like it because the student knows only three points, but she wants to write two points more. So she is able to add two points which are not really addressed in the question, but they are not ir irrelevant also. In that way, you can manage the answer. Sometimes when you do not know many points, you have to manage the answer in this way. However, here she has critically evaluated the LPG reforms negative consequence of the LPG reforms which is not asked in the question. The question is critically evaluate the mobilization of resources because of LPG. But you have evaluated the LPG itself. So here you will not get good marks. So introduction you may get some one mark. For three good points you will get some three marks. And for this part you may get one mark. So overall you get only five marks. But if you have written this one also relevantly because you have not critically evaluated the actual uh, mobil mobilized resources. If you have done that, you would definitely have got some 3 marks more and 8 marks is a very good score out of 15 marks. Okay. Friends, the question for today is as many students in the telegram group asked us to give GS1 question for Society of India, we are given a question from women. Women. The question is, do you think patriarchal nature of Society of India is a reason for, is a reason for you know, not so much uh, uh, declining the poverty rate? Try to address this question in 250 words. See you friends, take care.